In today's Adobe Illustrator tutorial, you will learn 20 must-know tips to create detailed, deep and colorful illustrations. I will show you 9 pen tool tips that will help you to trace sketches fast and easy, 4 clipping mask tips, which you will use in each illustration or design, 1 opacity mask tip, 5 gradients and blending modes tips, which will allow you to add stunning volume and color transitions, and also you will learn how to add rim light to highlight main object in composition. By the end of this tutorial you will have all needed keys to create your own rich illustrations full of details and colors. You are watching TNT Tutorials? Let's move on! You can download sketches and swatches by the link in the video description, click on File, Place and find path to download the sketch. Open Swatches panel, click on this little menu, open Swatch Library, Other Library, and find path to download the swatches also. Let's begin with Pen Tool Tips. Let's create new layer first. We will create new layer for each object in this scene. Press Z for Zoom Tool to zoom in and to zoom out. Also press Space Bar to use Hand Tool and navigate through Workspace. P for Pen Tool. Let's turn off Fill. Click here on None. You should have Stroke Color only. Don't drag handles too much. Just a little. Then A for Direct Selection Tool and move handles like this. To make this line more interesting, press Shift plus W to use Width tool and change line like this. Let's click on Properties, Stroke and select Round Cap. Always try to use as less points as it possible. For example, to create this leaf, we will need only two points. Let's drag handles just a bit, here also. Then to make sharp corner, hold Alt and move handle like this. Then if you want to make sharp corner here, don't connect these points like so. Press Ctrl Z to undo, hold Alt and connect them. Then A for Direct Selection tool, move points and adjust handles. You don't need to trace each leaf, let's hold Alt, drag this one here. You can rotate it like this, A for Direct Selection tool, change shape. Or you can press R for Rotate tool, simply click on this point and rotate object like this. I simply drag somewhere here and it rotates around this point. You can create point here, simply click here and rotate object. Then A for Direct Selection tool and adjust points. Create new layer for this leaf. Let's start to trace it. You can drag handles like this, then hold Alt to make sharp corner. Do the same here. Quickly trace this leaf using sharp corners only. Let's connect these points. And after this, you always have option to round each corner. You can press A for Direct Selection tool and you will see these dots. You can drag one of them and you will round all corners. Let's press Ctrl Z, A for Direct Selection tool and pick only one point. Drag this dot and you will round only these points. Don't round corners too much, round them just a little. You can always return and change roundness. As you can see we have a lot of lines here to trace and you can trace them in a few seconds. Let me show you how. A for Direct Selection tool, move handles to match sketch, then click somewhere to deselect this line, P for Pen tool, click here first, just to start from this line, and then create straight line. After this hold Ctrl or Command and click somewhere to stop drawing line. After this do the same and create them like this. As you can see I didn't fit anything. You should do exactly the same. Later I will show you why. Just save your time and quickly draw lines like this. Now let's press P for Pen tool, hold Alt and curve each of these lines. A for Direct Selection tool and play with handles. Let's use Width tool for this line. And you can see that this line is different than all others. But you want to use Width tool here also. Like this. Here's good news for you. You don't need to use Width tool for each of these lines. Just pick this line, open this layer group, find this line, hold Alt and drag this dot to this layer. Like this and continue to fill these empty dots with dots from previous layers. Now let's simply adjust width to some of them. 
Let's continue with some more complicated shapes. We need to combine sharp corners, soft lines and rounded corners. Let's begin somewhere here. Create line as usual. Hold Alt to make sharp corner and drag handle like this to adjust direction of future line. After this you can try to add point here and then continue. Hold Alt again. Another sharp corner. Rounded corner. Then let's draw this line. Hold Alt again. Sometimes you might see that you are not following reference. This is not a big deal. Simply continue and later you will return here and play with handles using direct selection tool. We will do the same in this case. Hold Alt and connect these points. Now A for direct selection tool. Let's make sharp corner here. You don't need to trace ellipses with pen tool. You will simply waste your time. Just press L for ellipse tool. Draw oval. Then V for selection tool. Rotate it. A for direct selection tool. And play with points. Hold Alt. Duplicate this ellipse. And do the same. Pen tool tip number 9 is always close path. It might seem obvious for most of you, so this tip is for beginners only. Don't finish object like this. Or like this. You should be sure that final points are connected. So if you've created some lines like this, you can pick this point with direct selection tool, move it to other points, then select them both, properties, anchors, and select connect selected end points. Now this path is closed. You should have this picture when you will trace all these leaves. I use tips that I showed you right now to create all these objects. Each object is traced. I closed each path. To avoid any confusion and to work faster, simply hide unneeded layers. As you can see, if I would have all these layers visible, it would be almost impossible to work. After you will trace everything, you'll be able to add colors. Simply pick needed object, click here to swipe fill and stroke, swatches, make sure that fill is selected and pick needed color. Do the same with other layers. You will also need to place some layers up, some layers down. To move layer up, you can drag it here in layers panel or you can press Ctrl or Command plus right brackets or left brackets. Now let's continue with clipping mask tips. Let's start with basics. To create clipping mask, let's pick this object and bring it on top of all these layers. Let's press Ctrl plus Shift plus right brackets. After this, let's select all these layers, right click, make clipping mask. After this, deselect this object, then A for direct selection tool, pick this shape and you can find needed color here or you can pick any color you want from swatches or any color palette. To move or change objects in clipping mask, you can pick them with direct selection tool or you can double click on clipping mask with selection tool to enter isolation mode and pick any object you want simply with selection tool. Let's move on with complicated object. First of all, let's pick this layer, bring it up, select object that you want to have in clipping mask, right click on them, make clipping mask. After this let's deselect them, A for direct selection tool, pick this shape and I will click here to pick needed color. Now let's add other objects to this clipping mask. Let's pick these two, press Ctrl plus C, now press delete, then double click on this clipping mask. We are in isolation mode. Let's press Ctrl or Command plus Shift plus V. Let's double click somewhere to exit isolation mode. This is how you can bring object to existing clipping mask. And now let me show you how to create objects in clipping mask. Let's double click on this clipping mask again. I will pick this color. P for pen tool. Let's create shape. And if you will open layers panel in isolation mode, you will see layers that are inside of this clipping mask. Let's bring new layer down. If you want to see full picture, let's double click to exit isolation mode. A for direct selection tool and adjust everything as you want. Now let me show you how to create clipping mask inside of clipping mask. First of all, let's make clip group of these objects. I will pick this one, bring it up, press Ctrl plus Shift plus right brackets and you can see that in this case it's impossible to pick needed objects and make clipping mask. 
So let's simply hide this layer, pick all needed layers, then make this layer visible again, hold shift and click here to select it also. Then right click, make clipping mask. After this you can open this clip group, simply click here to select this shape only, press I for eyedropper tool for example and pick needed color. Let's enter isolation mode. I will create this yellow shape and now we want to add shadow exactly to this yellow shape. I will pick some darker color, P for pen tool. Let's simply draw a new object, bring it down, select them both, right click, make clipping mask. Now let's pick this shape and adjust needed color. Now let's pick this object, opacity and pick multiply for example. Now let me show you how to use opacity mask to make holes. Let's select these ellipses, swap fill and stroke, then color. Make sure that you are in RGB mode. Let's pick rich black color, then click on window, transparency. You will have this panel. Let's make clipping mask here first. Now select these ellipses, press Ctrl plus C, delete them, select this shape in transparency panel. Click on make mask, clip. Then let's enter mask mode, click here and press Ctrl plus Shift plus V. To exit opacity mask mode, simply click on this icon. Let me show you how it works. I will simply place this layer behind this one. Let's pick this shape. To edit these holes, you should simply enter mask mode again, click here and you can change them as you want to, move them all around. So this is much better if you would simply cut these holes with Shape Builder tool. Let's continue with gradients and blending mode tips. Let's begin with basics and simply add gradient to this object. A for direct selection tool. Let's pick this shape, gradient, linear gradient. Let's double click on this slider, pick this color, then double click on this slider and pick yellow color. After this G for gradient tool and play with direction. In case if you want to make not just usual gradient, but also want to add brightness, you should use blending modes. Let's pick this yellow shape first. When you have too many layers and you don't want to waste your time and search for needed layer, you can press A, pick needed layer, then click here on locate object and quickly find it here. Let's press V for selection tool, click somewhere, then select this layer here, press Ctrl plus C, Ctrl plus F. Now select this copied layer, gradient, this time let's pick radial gradient. Let's use the same colors. G for gradient tool. You can change proportions like this. You can rotate radial gradient. I will place it here for now. Now properties. Opacity. You can see that we can't pick blending mode. To be able to pick it, let's press V for selection tool, then opacity and select hard light for example. After this play with gradient tool and adjust volume as you want. Now let me show you how to create complicated gradients with transparent sliders. Let's enter this clip group. I will create yellow rectangle here, bring it down and after this I will create another rectangle right here. Then gradients, linear gradient. Let's adjust red color here also. Hold Alt and duplicate this slider to the center. With this slider selected, let's change opacity to 0%. After these properties, opacity and let's select color burn for example. G for gradient tool and adjust sliders. Now let's simply bring this layer down, duplicate it, G for gradient tool again and adjust it to new shape. Now let's make these gradients look more interesting by adding another gradient on top of them. I will select this base layer. Press Ctrl plus C, Ctrl F and bring this layer up. Gradient, linear gradient. Let's delete this slider. I will simply drag it down. Now let's move this slider here. We have zero opacity for this slider. Let's pick red color. G for gradient tool. Play with direction. After these properties, opacity and try multiply for example. After this play with sliders. And you can make this layer visible and invisible to see results better. If you would like to add gradient to all these lines, simply select all these lines, object, expand appearance, then properties, pathfinder, 
Unite. You can make this color transition look more interesting. Simply add one more point, add different color and play with sliders. Now I will show you how to add rim light. Let's enter this clip group. I'll pick some bright color. You can pick color here. P for pen tool. Let's create object here. After these properties, opacity. Let's select screen. Now effect, blur, Gaussian blur. Preview, play with radius. Click OK. You will always be able to play with radius. Just select shape, properties and you will see applied effect. Just click on it and you will be able to change it. Now A for direct selection tool and adjust rim light as you want. Change opacity. You can also try hard light. Take your time, play with points and handles and you will get great results. If you learned something new from this tutorial, drop a comment below. Let me know if everything was clear enough for you and what you liked about this video. If you enjoyed this tutorial, support this channel by clicking on subscribe and what's most important, by clicking on the bell icon to get notifications about newest tutorials from TNT. I would also appreciate if you will click thumbs up and will share this video. This was TNT Tutorials. See you in next videos.